Yes, I... <laughs> this is... Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I was, I'm told, uh, on an RTE blacklist. Yes. And it, it happens there's, there's a few people on that, to be fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I did get off it eventually, obviously. Um, I worked... I began my broadcasting in pirate radio. Now, people my age and generation probably might remember pirate radio, and maybe even some of you are a little younger as well. So that's why I started broadcasting, because that was where there was an opportunity. Uh, but I was headhunted by a producer in RTE to go and be interviewed as a possible reporter for, there for RTE. There he is. Yes. Look at this handsome man here. And in, 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 in I came, I was interviewed and so on, and um, uh, I got a call from the uh, editor who was managing all this, a man called Leo Enright, uh, and Leo called me to say, well, there's good news and there's bad news. I said, well, OK, what's that? He said, well, the good news is you've got the job. He said, the bad news is we don't have any money. <laughs> Some things in RTE just never change. <laughs> <laughs> so... I said, that's fine. He said, look, we, we, might, we might get the money, we're trying to get the budget, if we do, I'll get back to you. So number of months passed, second phone call. There's good news and there's bad news. Well, I said, what's that? He said, well, the good news is you, and there's a couple of others as well, you've got the job. I said, that's great. And th the bad news is we've been told we can't hire you by the higher-ups in RTE because you are a pirate. 